Hi, it's Jonathan Anderson here at JW Anderson and Happy New Year and welcome to 2021. I'm here to present the men's and women's uh, pre-collection. This season, the collection, which I'm going to show you on the rail, um, is really kind of going back to what JW Anderson was at the very beginning, this idea of like primitive play with materials, looking at trying to scope out new ideas within gender, within um, fabrication um, and with how we show collections today. This season we've been very fortunate to be able to work with Jürgen Teller, uh, an amazing actress Sophie who I'm a huge fan of and uh, an amazing team of people to kind of create a kind of series of posters that really reflects a kind of beginnings of, um, of the new year. This idea of experimentation, this idea of simplicity, this idea of reduction. And I wanted to really kind of focus, as we have always done on craft, on the idea of um, modernity within where we can go uh, in fashion in the next decade. So here we are with the, all the collection that we worked on for men's this season. We have the mohair sweaters, which have the nylon belt that ties around the waist. You know, looking at those kind of earlier collections that we had done where it was like a kind of totemic look. Um, we worked with Anthony Turner doing hairstyles onto the shearling, hand dyeing them like you would with hair. The jackets with the silver foil, we hand screened on top of um, English wool to kind of give this idea of something which was a bit like a pewter plate. We have the jersey and poplin dresses. We have hand crocheted each of the little radishes which are then applied to the mohair sweater. I was really kind of into this idea of iconography in terms of still lives. Peaches, squashes, and uh, all types of fruits and veg became these sort of like tabard sweaters that were very kind of graphic in its approach. Due to the massive success with the Harry Styles sweater, I kind of liked that it really symbolized 2020 for me. So we've introduced like other types of patchwork hand knits where we've kind of done recycled yarns and different plies and a lot of like hand embroidery in terms of the logo. And as always, we have our classic shearling, which we've done with a shawl collar, something which we, we have been doing very well for many seasons. And I just wanted something which was slightly aged, or something which was a very timeless piece. On this rack, we have the, the pre-collection for women's. The idea was to kind of, you know, continue reinforcing the wardrobe, you know, really kind of focusing on the kind of core values of J.W. Anderson, like shirting and tailoring. Some of the things that I really love is this like double face jacket, which we have all the kind of buttoning details. Tailoring kind of becomes slightly deconstructed, like cut off proportions, high waisted trousers, and really kind of like blending this idea of like chopping up the body. And we have a lot of like kind of cotton jersey tops, which are kind of like balloon, balloon like, very lightweight. Um, something which is a kind of uh, ethereal in a kind of played down version. Uh, so for bags, we've kind of reintroduced our felt, our kind of landscape felts, um, the tote. We've obviously got the, um, the anchor tote as well. We've got amazing little accessories of radishes, um, which are hand crocheted. This is a new bag. I wanted something which is a bit like a knot. And there's a few other women's wear shoes where we have introduced the jewelry onto the shoes. So here's just a selection of um, some of the amazing images that we did with Jürgen that I just put on my office wall and, um, and you can do the same. You know, what was amazing about it was it was a really kind of personal um, moment with Jürgen and with Benjamin Bruno, the stylist and all the models and Sophie, obviously. I really loved it because it was such a spontaneous act in terms of um, shooting. What I like about the, the imagery is it, they're very honest images. It was amazing to work with Sophie, miraculous to watch, like kind of like a bird, like just the way in which she would just transform herself within the image. What Jürgen has done is on one side he is kind of sw switched the, the meanings. So the, the image on the back has a meaning from the image on the front. To really start off the year on a kind of graphic start, something which was quite purist, um, honest, real, but at the same time pushing fashion, like looking, you know, like with these sort of tops, looking at different ways to kind of let go of conceived ideas of how fashion should be constructed, how gender should be. It's just really kind of about individualism and about really good storytelling through really um, powerful images.